Hello, good morning, happy Sunday. This is Rachel from Active Rachel Ann, and today we're gonna to be talking about this week's weigh-in and last week's weigh-in. So I apologize for not posting a video last week. Um, in fact, last week, my weigh-in results were that I was down 1.2. So if you remember the week before that, I was up 1.2. So those two weeks evened out or equaled out. And then this past weigh-in, like just uh, this past week, on Friday, that's my weigh-in day, um, I'm up 0. 0.6. Couple things though that I think that are like playing towards that water weight gain and loss. Um, two things, one, shark week. Um, it is that time of the month and that tends to, it's, it's kind of surprising, it's hit or miss. Some weeks I will have a loss and some weeks I will have a gain. So this week was a gain. <laughs> So carrying extra fluid there. And then also, um, my husband and I did a couple workouts in the gym this week. So one of them being a lower body workout and what do they say? People get swole. <laughs> I just um, must have some extra water weight from that as well. On top of eating foods that have extra salt and um, water in them or that my body, you know, gains water. So, um... Things that went well this week, things that I should be working on. This is this week and last week. So um, it's very difficult. I've been having some issues with trying to um, decide what to do for aerobic activity. So if you've been following me on my Instagram journey, there I kind of post regularly on a daily basis and tell you my highs and lows and ups and downs. So if you haven't followed me on Instagram, head over there. What are you waiting for? Um, my name is the same there as it is here, Active Rachel Ann. And um, on my Instagram page, I shared with you the fact that it's been difficult for me to kind of figure out what to do for um, aerobic activity. So we have, we can be outside walking. It's not like we can't do that. But the temperature lately here in um, the end of January, early February is super cold. <laughs> so during the day, even if the sun is out, we're still still dealing with single digit temperatures, which could be anywhere from like four degrees to eight degrees. And then you have your wind chill mixed in. So that's going to bring that temperature down even more. So it's hard. Like even if I take my dog out there, he's kind of doing this. He doesn't even want to touch the ground. Do you see this shirt? How cute. How cute is this shirt? Yes, I just got it at Target last night. 20 bucks. Anyways, so um, my dog doesn't want to touch the ground. I don't really want to be out there and have my face get burned off by that cold weather. A deeper question is why do we still live up here in the north? Let's not go there. Let's just not go there. And then I have my, my um, treadmill. Mildred, 25 years old, she's a trooper. I could jump on her and get more active there, <clears throat> get more steps in and feel like I'm actually doing a good workout. Um, also, duh, I have my gym membership. I can go there, but it's so hard for me to say, I'm gonna leave my house, just go to the gym, just to walk, which I have a tre treadmill here in my house, I could do that here. I can go outside, I could do it there. It's just hard for me, like <clears throat> maybe I'm just not disciplined enough to get to gather the <laughs> motivation. I don't know. Um, so instead of like taking, and I'll say this, when I was at the gym the other day, uh, we did our lower body, we do a, a, a warm up and a cool down. Uh, let me know if that's something you guys want to see is like a workout, um, like how I do my workouts, upper and lower. Um, then you can kind of get a grasp for uh, the routine that we use. And we have a routine that we follow. Uh, that we've been following for many, many, many years, and it works really well. But <clears throat> aside from that, um, there was a, a new treadmill that I've never been on before. It's like this, um, I'll see if I can put a snippet of it here. But it's like, it's like this belt that's got, that's kind of bouncy. It's got some give to it. And that would be like something enjoyable to walk on and eventually maybe work my way up to running on. I think that would be cool. Um, but my husband, big, big topic here. My husband and I are debating on whether we should get an invest in a Peloton. So for those who don't know, Peloton is a company that makes bikes and other equipment and pretty pricey, I would say. Um, it would be quite a, an investment 
if we chose to get one. But I've heard from many people that have a bike that say that once you have it, it's like a whole new experience. And people, some people will get like addicted to working out, which I see nothing wrong with that as long as it's within reason. Um, daily workout is good, I think, but um, uh, it would be probably something I'd like to try. So with the bike, then you do a monthly membership uh, with their app and it kind of, there's a screen that's kind of with the bike and um, you follow programs, you can do live working out with an instructor and then they have like a leaderboard on the screen where it shows who's in what place and you encourage each other, you can give high fives to each other, <clears throat> you can develop friendships on this Peloton app and, and then together like work out with your friends if they have a Peloton at home and then you just jump in on the same class that they're working out in. That's the live option, they have lots of videos that you can push for uh, different uh, programs of um, cycling with uh, that's been pre-programmed or pre-taped and then on the bike they have like weights that come with it that you do a, an upper body workout along throughout some part of the ride so you're also use you're also working out your upper body so I think that overall I think that would be a really great cardio workout the question is like do we need it I think my answer is no, but do I want it? And of course, who wouldn't, right? But I just don't want it to grow dusty. So there is a 30 day return policy. I may look into that. If it's not something that I think I want to maintain or continue doing for after within that 30 days, then I probably would return it. So more to come on that, depending on when we decide it and make our decision. So as far as eating goes this week, the past two weeks, I'm really proud of myself because remember close to the beginning of the year, I switched over to the carb conscious plan and I think it's now uh, five or six weeks in and we are, and I'm doing well. I am tracking and I am learning and it is, um, I used to think that calorie command was a really great way to just keep track of my calories. And that is work that did work well, but um, I wasn't stringent enough to keep track of everything I ate. But now using this carb conscious plan, it's been um, uh, easier for me, I guess. I don't know how to explain it, but um, I, I am quick to change my habit of eating something poor at the beginning of the day, because if you track your food as you go throughout the day, then you, it kind of helps you to curb or change or alter the path you take through the rest of the day on what you eat. And so I'm learning that like, if I have a seven or a nine point breakfast, whoa, um, that kind of sets the course for the rest of the day. I only have 29 points or bites to get me through the day. So um, I have to be like choosing wisely with both snacks and meals for the rest of the day. So helps me to be mindful and I'm doing that great, I think. Um, but I am tracking more than I have in the past when I did the calorie command plan. So that's a positive. Um, I think by my weight kind of fluctuating or staying the same right now is a good indicator that I can also maintain on this plan. So I just have to decide like, what is it that's going to push me into the arena of wanting to lose weight? That's like the biggest question because I keep coming back to that question. Like, why am I not losing weight? And it's because of what I'm putting in my mouth. But what is it that's preventing me? Why is it that I, I can't get into the mode of wanting to lose? Is it because we're in hibernation mode? It's winter time and it's just that time to kind of embrace and keep the weight? I don't know. Is it because I just am not disciplined enough to get motivated? Maybe. I can't just wait for motivation to drop in my lap. Like I have to be the one to start that. And I did get motivated when I went to the gym in town and worked out. So I think what I'm going to do is incorporate more workout days into my routine. I had a big conundrum the last time I was on because I was saying something like if I get this gym membership, I feel like I don't think I'm going to have enough motivation to go work out at 7 PM at night. I would want to make sure that my dog gets exercised first after I get done working at 4 p.m. So that was one thing that I was struggling with. But here's the thing. Recently, I've been taking my dog to the dog park like in the four and five o'clock hour. 
um, because I still think he needs to exercise and, and hang out with some buddies. But there's kind of some naughty dogs there at that time. So maybe this is the motivation for me to go to the gym right after I'm done working, work on myself first, put myself first, come back home, then pick up the dog, go to the dog park later in the evening so he still gets playtime, and then the naughty dogs aren't there at the dog park. Maybe there's different dogs there at like 7 or 8 p.m. at night that aren't so naughty. And then I think it would be a good win-win for us all. So see, and if you know me, then you probably know that my dog means a lot to me and exercising him and the guilt I feel by not having him exercise weighs heavily on my shoulders. And so I was willing to put him first before me and I know that's not healthy and that's not right. And he is a dog, but um, yeah, I just hate having to sit here at my desk all day long and then see him sleeping all day long and then when four o'clock hits he's like let's go let's do something fun and i just i hated the idea of saying oh no i have to go work out now then i'll play with you or then i'll have fun with you but that's just what i'm gonna have to do it's just that's just the way it goes plus if it's for his benefit i don't want him to get bullied at the dog park which he was doing when we would go at that four or five o'clock hour so that being said i think i've got a good way to get on track and start developing a discipline of motivation by just going, getting it done, doing it, coming home feeling good that I did it, and then maintaining good habits with eating. Because it does, it, it, it motivates me when I go there to work out. So the next goal would be, how do I do it in the morning? So if we get the Peloton bike, I could do a cardio workout in the morning and then after and then that helps to set the tone to give me that motivation for the day to stay on track with my eating and then after work I go and work out at the gym whether it's upper or lower body day and then that continues my motivation through the evening on continuing to eat well that's my mind frame right now tell me what you think let me know if you have a Peloton bike I'd love to know your experience with it your pros your cons um, if you don't have a bike, I would prefer not to necessarily hear from you because it's difficult. I hear a lot of people telling me what they think and their opinions or thoughts, both on my Instagram and my Facebook page. And I don't, I'm not really looking for opinions on the bike unless you own one. Then I kind of want to hear about it. Um, because a lot of people have a lot of things to say about something they don't even know anything about. <laughs> so that being said, thanks everybody for watching. Um, I'm thinking about doing a menu plan and a grocery haul, um, possibly today, just depends on if I get enough time, and then um, I'll film that, bring you along. Let me know in the comments down below if you want to see the, the workout routine that I do, upper and lower body days, uh, weightlifting. I'm kind of getting back into the swing of things, so bear with me, have some patience. I might look kind of like a fool, but at least I know I'm doing it and I'm having fun. I, I love all the support and encouragement you can give me. So, all right, I guess that's it. Thanks everybody for, for watching. We'll see you next week.